I think a lot of it is people look at the failures of those systems in the past, the failures of the quote unquote war on drugs and what that did. And I'm not talking specifically about the DEA right now. I'm saying like in general, when you look at it across society, the the failure of of the rehab industry, which is really, you know, I'm glad for some people it works, but it has something along the lines of a 3% success ratio. Look, I, I worked in finance. I was around some of the, the financing of some of those types of places and saw some things that I, or heard some things, I should say, that, that I can never really unhear as far as some of the corruption that goes into that. And I think people get frustrated with that and they want to, they want to then, like everything else in the world, every reaction gets an equal but opposite reaction. And so they want the total opposite. To be clear on counting on your hands with the people who are asking that question, I don't have an opinion yet on on what that is my if if you ask me right now i would say no i'm not going to legalize everything but i would say like how do we look at like your availability problem for example because i'll tell you nothing shocked me at college except one thing and that was that was that was great that like i went to college and it was kind of exactly what i expect i had a good time but it was like high school but on steroids everyone had fun great experience the one thing that shocked me though that i did not see coming was that the number of people who used blow in college was stunning. By my senior year, it was used, and I would use this word, excessively more than marijuana. And I was like, you know, my line was always simple. I was like, can kill me, right? So if I had a line of like what I was going to do, I, I always fell on, on the side of, all right, I'm going to drink some alcohol and, and smoke some weed because I got to drink a lot of alcohol for that to kill me and weed's not going to kill me. Coke was always something like, oh, I don't want to be Len Bias. You know, that shit can stop your heart. And it also looked like a really, really good time. And I'm like, I feel like I would like that a lot. So I never did it. But the number of people who did was shocking. So when we're talking about availability with black markets and we're going to be laying out where this all comes from no, and how no, you are intricately no, tied to that. Absolutely. It's like, no question about it. How so, do you stop that? Well, just imagine, just imagine if it was available down at the local Packy liquor store. For you to buy, hey, let's go down and buy an ounce of Coke. It's the price is only ninety dollars today. They're having a special, or it's a two two ounces for one, or whatever. <laughs> Imagine all those college kids, et cetera, et cetera. And some of them end up like Lenny Bias, or some of them end up like John Belushi, or some of the other folks. But my point is this, and I like the parallels that you gave when you talked about cocaine over here, and you talked about marijuana and alcohol over here, and then you used the word I think two or three times line. Yeah. No a pun line, intended. A line, I got yeah. it, I got it, I got it. But that's exactly where I thought you might be going to when no, you had no, that. No, when no, you no. had that there. No. So no pun intended, good play on words. So we could talk the drug legalization and all that stuff. And some people say, oh, you know, you're just a hardcore DEA agent. Look at him, the guy, you know, he's got his head shaved. You do whatever. look like a cop. I got to tell you, Whatever the case may be. You should have seen me when I was younger. As I told you earlier, I didn't look like one. <laughs> And, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and so my, my point is I do, I do come up with life experiences that show me a lot of different things. Mm. I will never believe that cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamine and some of the other drugs should be legalized. Marijuana fought that fight. Government fought it. Everybody else fought it, whatever the case may be. It's over there. Put it in the past. When you have your 13, when you're really pro this and you have your 13 year old daughter come home mm. stoned three days in a row and she says, Yeah, I was smoking weed at school, age changes opinions yes, sometimes. It does. It does. I'm like, what do you mean you're smoking weed? Well, dad, I heard you and mom talk about it. You said it should be legal. Some people use it for medicine. There's a million excuses. And of that 13 year old daughter, some will. Dad will punish her and she'll never smoke weed again. And some will continue to smoke weed and some will end up graduating and doing some other drugs and move on, et cetera, et cetera. And some will end up growing up to become Supreme Court justices someday. Yes. Yeah. Who knows what the DNA in that specific kid is. But my point is when you've seen so many things and, and let's get back to DEA and enforcement in yeah. a minute, but I want to tell you this really quickly. The biggest opponents of legalizing of marijuana are former marijuana users that go to NA, Narcotics Anonymous, and AA meetings. Mm -hmm. You go in there 
and you talk to them and they're like, dude, you wouldn't believe it. They say it's not addictive. Well, it might not be physically addictive, but psychologically, that's all I ever did. I woke up, sure. I smoked weed all sure. day long. I was, I lost yes. my family, I lost my kids, I lost my job because I was a stoner the entire time. Those are the people that 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 the that the monster, the Godzilla, grabbed them and and squeezed them and shook them and said, you know, I'm I'm. I'm your bitch now. Yep. I, you know, and, and, I, I don't think anything's 100%, Ken. Yeah, and exactly. And I think, that, I think there's always going to be, sure. like, it, with any type of substance, I don't care what it is, there will be people who go down the wrong way with that. I know so, people, like, when you give me that example, I can think of people in my head that I knew in college that I thought to myself, within a week of knowing them, you know, weed is not good for you. Yeah. Like, you but really it, you know, shouldn't do that. It's it's the society we live in, and everybody's yeah. got a, an opinion, and I've got mine, you've got yours, yeah. and some of your listeners will have them, but that's just one of the things. I mean, if, if you want to legalize the hardcore drugs because you think it would take the criminal element out of it, you know, sorry, you're wrong. You've you've had maybe a drink and you think that's a great idea. It's not if you really study it. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.